So let's walk through what poverty of the stimulus is talking about, right? So consider these little circles as like sets, right? So you have the items that you actually encounter in your input, and then you're trying to generalize from those to figure out what are the actual set of items that say are in English, not too small and certainly not too big to include items that are not in English, right? And the poverty of the stimulus is talking about this exact problem. The data encountered, the purple stuff, these are compatible with both the correct hypothesis, the correct generalization, and plenty of other incorrect hypotheses about the rules and patterns of the language, right? So an unbiased rational learner would consider all compatible hypotheses and maybe choose the wrong hypothesis in the end, or at least make errors during acquisition, right? Because uh, the data themselves don't actually tell you what's the right one. But here's an interesting situation. What if children behave as if they consider only some of the possible hypotheses? Forgive my double typo here. Uh, only one consider is necessary. Um, but the idea, right, they never produce errors that are compatible with some of these possible incorrect hypotheses. They only seem to produce items that are compatible with some and not others of the available hypotheses, right? They maybe never produce errors out here, but maybe they do produce some errors here, but they somehow know to it ignore these, even though these are just as compatible with that input data. Why would they do this? And the answer is that children must have some prior knowledge, some knowledge that's not coming just from the data that causes them never to consider some of these incorrect hypotheses. Instead, they only consider some of the possible hypotheses for what the rules and patterns of the language might be. So just again, to make this more explicit, maybe prior knowledge is restricting children's hypotheses to these chunks right here, these three, but they never consider these dotted guys, right? Even though, again, they're perfectly compatible with the data. That is the poverty of the stimulus, and we can look at a number of different concrete examples, but probably not in this particular podcast.